Hey guys, welcome back to the series, How to Use Poison. This is video number two, when we're going to be talking about the master section, which is the section up here at the very top from where the blue kind of LED representing screen is all the way to the right. So starting on the left here, this is where it says no name. This is going to be the, the section you click to load up your preset, preset banks. And a lot of these actually sound quite good. There's some cool arpeggiators in here as well. So maybe just spend some time and kind of go through these and also kind of look how they designed these patches. It helps give a good understanding of how the synth works. So closing this, let's go to our options menu. And here we can import a CC map in case you've uh, mapped anything yourself before and you want to bring it back into this. You can do that. There's an import gate pattern. There's a save program to save your awesome preset that you're working on and load it again. Obviously, it's kind of self-explanatory. And then you can clear all the CC links that maybe you've done and you're like, I don't like how this setup is. So you can just clear everything and wipe it out all at one time. And then a reset program, which is basically the init preset in other synths. And then the next one down here is going to be the, the button you last touched. So the last one I touched was the monophonic, which is over here. But if I move this around, you can see how it changes and then you can link different uh, controls to that if you'd like to. And then you can unlink them as well. And down here, it'll show you the CC number. So moving on, we have unison up to 16 voices, which is quite a bit, I would uh, think, for Poison. I thought I think before it was like 32 or something like that, and the polyphony as well. But uh, for now, you have 16 voices, and then you have 64 polyphony, which is kind of cool. It's a little bit more powerful than I think it kind of looks, maybe. So up to 16 voices. <laughs> and here's the unison D tune and the unison pan right next to it. I think with this synth, the concept was to kind of strip down a lot of the extra tools and most most synths to make it easier to use and kind of quicker so you don't have to have a PhD in synthesis or sound design or whatever. And with that being said, there's we're going to find a lot of stuff that's kind of either missing, but don't let that be a hindrance to it because you can still get a great sound from this synth and it's kind of the purpose of Poison in general. So with that being said, you can't necessarily change the spreading of the voices itself. Like there's no different versions, really. It's just how the program is set up itself. So you're kind of locked into where the uh, 16 voices are going to be sitting across the stereo field. So something to keep in mind. And then we have our octaver. So kind of gives us the uh, octave up sound as well to kind of make it sound a little bit richer. And then we have our monophonic button. And then we get into the fun glide stuff. So for this, I'm going to go back to one voice. Maybe put a little filter on so it's not as annoying. Let's bring this up. So this glide time. So we have our glide knob here. So you can see how it's gliding between the notes here. And then we have a couple options. We have the held option. So if we're holding a note and we hit another note, It's going to do as we expected. It. It's going to glide between the notes. But if we hit them individually, it won't glide. And then next up, we have the. So if this is off, it's just going to slide regardless. So it's always going to slide. And then we have the static button. So in uh, if you've watched any of the other series, there's a difference between going from a low note to a high note. So. If you have a longer distance, that slide time is going to be a little bit longer. And then if it's static, it's going to be the same. This brings it a little bit down. So so to our ear, it kind of sounds like it's uh, the same amount of time sliding. But if static is off, it feels and it sounds because it is it's taking a longer time to go from that lower note to the higher note rather than like a lower note to a little bit of a higher note and then the knob obviously is the glide time and then next to that you have a master transpose which goes down 24 and up 24. so if you have a cool patch and you're like i need to go lower then you can go all the way down to 24 and kind of have that uh and alt click to reset it or i believe you can also middle mouse maybe i'm not not on this one but yeah, so alt click to bring that back to normal. Then you have a micro tune, which goes down 100 cents and then up 100 cents. And then over here is your master gain, which is the perfect spot to put. I kind of always opening up a new synth or any other synth, it's kind of nice to know where the master gain is. And if, if it's too hot or not hot enough, then I think you know what to do with that. So in a nutshell, that's the master section. If there's any questions, please let me know and we'll see you in the next video.